I have to ask your mood. I, I can pretty much hear it and feel it, uh, but what was your message to the guys? Well, I mean, I just, uh, you know, after having three really solid road games and thinking we turned the corner in terms of how we need to play the game to, to win some hockey games, uh, we come out tonight with an emotional, uninspired effort against a team that, you know, we're three points of the playoffs. Uh, I really thought, uh, you know, the goal to go into this week was to win and get four or six points, which is still possible, but I just didn't, didn't anticipate uh, this type of game, you know, uh, and early we were okay, uh, but it seems like, you know, we get a, we get a goal down and uh, it, uh, it just kills us. It's 1-1 one, one and it seems like the wheels just fell off after that. Well, you know, we turn the puck over at the blue line, they go in a breakaway and score. You know, I, I didn't think they had a ton of opportunities to score. They certainly made the most of them with five goals on 22 shots. But at the same time, you know, we gifted them two goals with just uh, unnecessary turnovers. Um, and, you know, you can't play that style of hockey when you're not an offensive type of team. Yeah. Excuse me for eavesdropping, but the door was closed, but we could still hear it. It looked like you were asking your leaders to lead and show a little passion, maybe be demanding of the rest of the guys in the room. Absolutely. I mean, uh, you know, uh, I don't want to be the yelling screamer. I don't think it, uh, you know, it works over a consistent basis uh, with how the game's played nowadays and how the personalities are in the room. And those guys got to take charge and make sure guys get fired up. Um, you know, for me to go in there and beg guys to be motivated to play the game of hockey, uh, it's not right. I mean, they need to have some kind of internal motivation to play the game and want to be the best they can be out there.